Heat in the East is on the brink of elimination. The Pacers lost to the Hawks in Game 5 last night and were even booed by their own fans at home during the first half. Mike Scott, Shelton Mack, who both started the game on the bench, led the Hawks to a 107-97 victory. Wow. Stephen A., you surprised by this? I'm shocked. Okay. Stunned. It's unbelievable to me. I don't even recognize this team. Roy Hibbert, he has to go see a psychologist. Seriously, he's got to sit down and get his mind right. Something happened to him. This is not a this is not a basketball issue. Something happened to him. He's seven two. He's on the court. He's seven two. He doesn't score a point. He doesn't grab a rebound He uh, in, in 12 minutes. I mean, Frank Baldwin's enough of this. I, I can't play this man anymore. It's un, I don't know what's going on. It makes no sense. I can't explain it. But that was bad enough. But to be down by more than 20 in the first quarter, to be down by 30 at one point on your home turf after winning game five, uh, four in Atlanta, Skip Bayless, the Atlanta Hawks are winning game six. This series, in my opinion, is over. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. This team is, is a shell of itself. I cannot believe what I have been seeing. Look at Larry Bird. Have you ever seen Larry Bird this demonstrative? No. I mean, you see him. Ever. He's covering his fake. He can't believe it. He can't believe it, and neither can I. There is no basketball aficionado on the planet that could have predicted this epic collapse taking place in Indianapolis. I mean, all the port, all the reporters out there, they're absolutely on the money. The radio hosts that you're listening to, they're absolutely on the money. Everybody, they are looking at a collapse of epic proportions because there's no way to explain it. Frank Vogel didn't forget how to coach. Okay? Brian Shaw, no matter how much of an impact he had as the lead and assistant, now that Nate Miller, McMillan is there instead of him, don't tell me it's that big of an impact. Mm. All of a sudden, George Hill, you know, one game he looks yeah. like, he, he, like, like, he like, like he can get the job done. Another day he looks like he should be a bench rider. Yeah. Roy Hibbert. Good Lord, I can't. I, I'm trying to be nice. Skip Bayless. Roy Hibbert looks worse than Carl Abraham. I, I can't believe yes, it is. that I'm saying that. No. Roy, I, I can't believe I'm saying that. I don't know what to say. I, I, I cannot believe. But Kobe. Kwame Brown had the disadvantage of small hands, small feet. Yeah. Coming out of high school. Wasn't taught the game. Yeah. He's got all of these excuses. Roy Hibbert, seven two, big hands, big feet, went to Georgetown, had a couple of post moves that appeared at least last year in the playoffs. It sure okay? did. Okay, was a defense, one of the run, a runner up for defensive player of the year. He, he can't seem to do anything right. I, I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. I can't believe what I'm seeing, and I hate it. I hate saying that because I like him so much, man. But it, 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 it just hurts to watch these guys. It's over, Skip. Atlanta's not losing two games on their home court to this team. If, this, if Atlanta loses this game six on their home turf, I have no, I have, I have nothing to say positive about Atlanta because there's no excuse to lose to this team two times true. on your home court the way they've been looking. Yeah. So you're saying that Roy Hibbert has now replaced Kwame Brown as your symbol of ineptitude in the NBA, right? As a big man? Yeah. That's what you're saying. Oh boy! And, and yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, I can't. What am I gonna say? I can't believe it. Okay. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Okay. You know, I can believe it because we saw it down the stretch in the regular season. We saw it early in this this series. Uh, they they are who they have become. And I don't think they're going to snap out of it. I'm with you. Atlanta's going to win in Atlanta and finish them off and put them out of their misery. Something is internally very wrong with this basketball team that for much of the year was the best defensive team in the NBA. Something happened internally. I think Tim Legler's been saying it will come out 
postseason. It, it has to. It has to. And my only theory on Roy Hibbert, to give him a, a little bit of a break here, I've read a couple of reports that suggest that maybe the elbow shot that he took from LeBron as LeBron was driving the ball in the game in Indiana, I think you were there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So it was official. But that, remember, LeBron cold cocked him, knocked him out. He, he was jelly knee. You know, he couldn't even get up. And some people are saying it's post-concussion syndrome, that he never quite recovered from the concussion he received from LeBron's shot to the jaw. So I don't know. Skip. When you get a shot to the jaw, even if you have a concussion, it doesn't prevent you from punching. It just it just limits your ability to absorb a punch. Yep. The way you once did. That's it. In the case of Roy Hibbert, we talking about multiple games in a row in the single digit category in points and rebounds. We're talking about games where no block shots have occurred. We talking about we are sitting here today talking about a game skip in which a seven foot two do. Basically skip, let me put it to you this way. If he stands up and doesn't even raise his hands, he's only three feet from the rim. So if he raises his hand, Skip, yeah. he's about an inch from the rim. He is. And can't score? Can't a score. Point? Can't get a rebound. And can't get minutes. a rebound. No, yeah. no, no. There's something wrong. Psychologically, something has happened. Yeah. Now, I don't know what it is. But Lord, it's bad. And we can't wait to find out.